What is up, Geminis? Finally, huh? Alright, so this is for Geminis in love from now, and we're going to let it go until August 2nd in love. So, so Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I can't believe I really even have to explain this, but some people apparently don't get it. Um, this is like a horoscope for you guys. So this will be energy covering from now until... Um, August 2nd. Sorry, I need to move it because there's a smoke detector right above me. So, this is energy going from now until August 2nd. This could be energy that you've already gone through. Maybe, you know, you're, you're at a different level than other Geminis right now. It's not going to resonate with every single Gemini out there. It's just not possible. Um... The only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you and your energy is to get a personal reading. And I do not yet offer those as of yet. Um, way too much going on. But, so keep in mind this energy is going to go from now. You know, you'll see if it starts resonating with you from now until August 2nd. Alright, in love. And I'm determined to figure out exactly what's going on with you guys. Ooh. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Capricorn or something toxic that you need to make a decision about here, okay? I'm determined to figure out exactly what's going on with you guys. So, let's see. Gemini's in love. Gemini's sun, moon, and rising from now until August 2nd. In love. What is the best advice? What do Gemini's need to know the most? in love from now until august 2nd spirit what do gemini's need to know in love thank you you've got an offer coming in guys or you are offering something to someone else it could be something of value here this definitely could have something to do with money or you've got a taurus virgo capricorn in your space uh it's definitely yeah stability here wow and on the bottom Wow. When I see two cards of the same suit, I think a couple, okay? A couple or a soulmate relationship, maybe even a karmic relationship. But someone may be confused right now. Maybe not speaking. Maybe needing to make a decision. Could be regarding stability or needing to make a decision about this person. <laughs> Male or female. Could be regarding work as well. Could be a business man, business woman, somebody who's very balanced, grounded. If you're dealing with the male energy, it can be kind of a stubborn energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah, it looks like there is something has died out here. A relationship has died out here. Maybe somebody's trying to wait. Somebody's waiting on someone, I feel like, and it's like someone's not getting an answer, whether that's you, Gemini, or whoever you're dealing with, because the energies can be totally flip-flopped. Whatever I can say can be complete opposite. So, you know, I've got people in my comments saying, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Taurus, it was Gemini. Yes, it can be flip-flopped. So I'm going to say someone so it doesn't irritate you guys or piss you guys off I want you guys to know that it can be the complete opposite and I don't know how to address this appropriately like this energy some of you guys may have already gone through it and that's awesome but this like I cannot control what spirit gives me to read like, intuitive feelings will come up, and maybe, you know, I'll speak them, I'll say what I feel, and may, hopefully it will resonate with you. When cards do flip out, I feel like it's a message for somebody, so I do take them. Um, there's just no way, you know, I want to provide you guys with as much information as possible, because this is what I feel like I've been called to do for you guys. So it's not going to be, you know, some short, quick video. Like, I want to give you guys all the details possible, because that's the way I read. That's the reader that I am. So, and that's how I've learned. 
so we'll get right into it. I apologize for my band-aid. I have two little girls, so I have um, a mermaid and a princess band-aid on because I cut myself earlier. Um, hold on one, guys. One second, guys. I'm going to pause you real quick. All right. Now that we've got that out of the way, I want that to be cleared up. Hopefully, I do not have to say that in every video. All right. So, Gemini. And it's not you guys. Not you guys. Alright, so Gemini, from now until August 2nd, in love. If you are new to my channel, I do go in with the after tarot for future predictions, which can play out at any given time, any time. And with the tarot of sexual magic to see if anything shady is going on, if you get... Three of Cups energy, Seven of Swords energy, any sneaky, shady behavior, or just because. Let me also go in with the Romance Angels at the end. So, let's get to it. I'm going to concentrate for a minute, guys. Gemini's in love from now until August 2nd, Spirit. Gemini's in love from now until August 2nd. One more. Alright, let's see what's up. Okay, overall energy is the Knight of Swords. Very well could be you guys taking on this energy, coming off a little bit emotionally detached, maybe rushing into someone's life or somebody's rushing into your life. Somebody's definitely got something to say. It's truthful communication. All right, there may be something that you want to say, Gemini, or whoever you're dealing with wants to say. Keep in mind, friends and family do pop up in readings. Can't control it. Yeah, it looks like somebody's like waiting on communication, but it's not coming. Ah, I see. Ooh, okay. So the overall energy right now is somebody's really confused, conflicted. There may have been a lie that has been told here, or maybe somebody has gotten cut off. Just somebody's confused, somebody's conflicted, somebody could have had a lot of options and loved in love, or they were just con confused and conflicted in general over who they wanted in love. This is either a lie here or somebody is not getting the clarity that they need, so they're kind of spying, maybe stalking, trying to gather information about somebody, waiting to say something or waiting for someone to communicate with them. So this could be how you're feeling, Gemini, or your partner. We've definitely got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and Leo as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn also. Wow, okay. Somebody's definitely got something to say, but it's like taking its time. Truthful communication is on its way. So present energy right now, damn guys, for Gemini, is the tower. So, damn, Scorpio energy, it does not have to be. Why do I see this rooster right here? Like, I feel like shit just came crumbling down around you guys. Like, whatever relationship you were in, the universe just came in and was like, boom, you know, this isn't for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear it down. Or there's chaos, there's drama around you right now. But I feel like you're trying to stay out of it. I've never noticed this little rooster before here. He's kind of like trying to get out of the way. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. We clarify everything. So let's see. Thoughts and concerns for Gemini is somebody that is not committing here. Someone that does not commit. This could also be someone who is very greedy, who takes credit for other people's work. Um, and this could be someone who's very angry and aggressive as well. 
could be an Aries Leo Sag. It does not have to be. I just like naming them for you guys. So basis of the reading for Gemini is the four of chalices reversed. So somebody is not accepting a love offer here. We're going to have to clarify this one. Somebody like completely turned down a love offer because they're, they're not committing. Whether that be you, Gemini, or whoever you're dealing with can go either way because it's a general reading. So in the past for Gemini, we have the star reversed. So somebody was losing hope and faith in a situation. Somebody wasn't too optimistic about it or somebody wasn't fully healed yet. Maybe there was some healing that needed to be done. Things weren't balanced. So the universe came in and just, psh, we've got Aquarius energy here now. Does not have to be. So what's crossing Gemini, what's holding you back or influencing you negatively or positively is the six of Athames. So moving on, mentally getting out of your head and moving on. So this could be what is pushing you forward or this could be what is holding you back. Moving on from this chaotic situation here, from this person that won't commit. Okay, whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with. Either way, however it resonates for you guys. This could also be a move that you guys are trying to make as well. So let's see. Going into the near future, this may play out by August 2nd. It can also exceed August 2nd, depending on your situation and also depending on free will. Some of you may have already gone through this. We have the Nine of Wands reversed, okay? Somebody's going to be given up. Somebody doesn't want to fight for this anymore. So let's see. Other current circumstances for Gemini, we have the Four of Wands reversed. Okay, so there's definitely some instability right now. Very well could be regarding money. It could be regarding someone that you're living with. Maybe somebody has to move out. That's one scenario that's not going to resonate with everyone. This could be an unstable relationship or just an unstable marriage. Or stability is unstable right now. Okay. We'll could definitely clarify. External to Gemini is the five of chalices. This could also be your energy because you do mirror each other in relationships. So somebody's definitely feeling some grief, some re regret, remorse, upset. Emotional upset here. Somebody's definitely feeling some pain. Like, fuck it. I'm just going to pour the cup out. So, hopes and fears for Gemini is the five of wands reversed. You don't want any conflict. You want this conflict to end. You don't want it. You don't want fighting. You don't want to be internally conf conflicted. You don't want to fight with anyone. So, outcome for Gemini, here's that damn devil again. So, Capricorn energy... Nature reverse. You could be dealing with the Capricorn in the outcome. It doesn't have to be, but it's it's reversed. So somebody's going to be trying to, you guys, you guys or your partner, somebody's going to be trying to get rid of toxic, a toxic relationship, toxic habits in a relationship. This even could be like a nasty, nasty relationship where somebody's really aggressive. This could be temptations as well. Yeah. Definitely could have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming in as well. I'd be careful though with that three. We'll definitely clarify with the um, after tarot and we'll see what's coming in for love. So somebody's got something to say but it's like delayed right now. Or somebody wants truthful communication, but it seems to be delayed. So let's see. Why is the star reversed for Geminis from now until August 2nd in love spirit? There was a commitment here that somebody is unable to move away from. Someone's unable to mo emotionally walk away here. There was a commitment... But something came out, like secrets came out here that caused somebody to lose hope and faith. It very well could have been the fact that somebody was married. Or something like slipped out. 
because someone was like reckless with their words like it just slipped out whatever it was but I am seeing a commitment here a relationship or a marriage that somebody is emotionally unable to walk away from even though it's unbalanced and there's a lack of hope and faith but I do see someone wanting to start over like wanting to start over new or secrets came out about somebody being foolish here okay and now that we've got the tower which shit just blew right up somebody could have been waiting on someone to return as well in the past and maybe someone did or or didn't here it's like someone took a risk and expressed how they felt or secrets came out someone did something foolish and secrets came out and within a relationship or a higher level of commitment here so we've got taurus aries cancer pisces scorpio aquarius energy let's see tell me more one card just about the star please just one card for the star spirit just one card yeah something ain't over guys karmically something is not over yeah i see like no second chances somebody healing here somebody not wanting conflict anymore somebody could have turned down a love offer but karmically something is not ending here there needs to be balance there needs to be healing there needs to be hope and faith all right so that's the recent past we've got aries the osag i see healing cancer controlling energy here i don't like it to be the father of your children as well it does not have to be or a father figure somebody significantly older or younger it doesn't matter all right so let's see why is the tower here for gemini's spirit from now until august 2nd in love why is the tower here for gemini's from now i'm just getting all okay i don't like this Alright, so someone cut someone off. I think someone made a decision or just like cut someone off and was staying silent. They went within to think about things. This could be you or your partner. Somebody went within to analyze things, analyze a decision, and they're making a decision to offer something here something of value there definitely could be internet communications texting there's definitely something here that somebody's coming to reality about there's an offer coming in for you guys after the tower has fallen virgo gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn but scorpio as well I don't like this, you guys, because some of you guys could be dealing with someone who is very nasty, who's domineering, who's controlling, who is a liar, a player, very aggressive, like abusive relationships here, especially with the devil showing up as well. It's like somebody who may have been in isolation for a little bit, took a break, and now you know they're coming out and now they're making a decision and they're communicating whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with so there is an offer here like to rebuild this could also be money as well tell me about the wild hunt just one card for gemini you know maybe it was a really nasty relationship Maybe you were just dealing with a liar or somebody was lying. Yeah, three of chalices, okay? So there, e there either was a third party involved here or somebody just not does not want to reunite with someone here. Yeah, Gemini, here's your card. Just not feeling it. 
not feeling it at all. There could be gossip. There could be bad news. And a relationship could have ended due to a third party. Somebody's healing. Wow, guys. So, yeah, moving on. So, let's see. Why is the Four of Chalices reversed for Geminis from now until August 2nd in love? Oh, my gosh. My cards. Okay, same little story we were getting before. Somebody's definitely confused and conflicted here. I don't see a victory. I don't see a success. But, oh, wow. Let me look at this for a minute, guys. Somebody's not getting the attention that they want. So it's almost like they're going to say something. Somebody's definitely maybe spying and stalking. Maybe somebody figured something out. Now somebody's confused. They don't know what to do. They're not getting the attention that they want. Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Why is the Four of Chalices reversed? Just one card for Gemini's spirit. Thank you. Yeah, there's a new offer coming in. Somebody definitely wants to talk to you guys or you want to talk to somebody else. There may be a little bit of confusion. Somebody may not be emotionally happy because secrets have come out or somebody was playing games here. Yeah, it could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra. Let's see, why is, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Geminis? Again, same shit. Someone's in isolation, contemplating. They're not sure about this offer. Someone's staying silent. They're not sure. Someone's definitely trying to get out of anxiety. Being stuck in their head and worried about something here. Could be someone who's very controlling, domineering, a fucking asshole. An asshole. I'm getting Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Somebody's just not making a decision right now about this love offer. But there's definitely communication or travel to see someone. Wow. Okay, we've got a flyer. Yeah, the Lady and the Lord reverse. Gemini, your card. A relationship ending due to a third party, due to the spark. Just maybe just the spark dying out here. Or a third party coming in between. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini energy. Someone is trying to heal. Someone is trying to heal from some type of betrayal. Damn, guys, this is crazy. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Four of Wands reversed? For some of you, someone could have been married. Somebody's definitely got their guard up. Be okay. Someone's either so if you're committed or in a relationship or you're in you know an unstable relationship, someone definitely may be spying and stalking, whether that's you guys trying to gather more information to decide what it is you want to say, what it is you want to do. Yeah, there's c confusion here big time about what someone has to say.
it's like somebody is remaining stable and having the strength and they're not speaking up. Somebody's like trying to figure out how they're going to communicate, how they're going to say something. This could be you, Gemini, or very well could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone may stalk. Oh my good lord. Someone may end up telling someone that, yo, um, your man or your woman was hitting on me and they're married or they're living with you. Wow. Let's see. Why is the Four of Wands reversed for Geminis from now until... Thank you. There's definitely communication coming in about someone not being happy, not being emotionally fulfilled, someone sneaking around. Secrets are going to come out, guys, if they haven't already. And it's going to cause someone's relationship or someone's marriage to be unstable. We also have the Empress here. So this definitely could be a third party. You know, somebody cheated, it's going to come out. Somebody's texting, communicating online, it's going to be quick, fast communication. But somebody's spying here, they may, may find it out that way also. Or it may be communication. But for some of you, there may be pregnancies here. Taurus, Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow, guys. Tell me about the Earth Mother for Geminis. Tell me about the Earth Mother for Geminis, please. From now until August, thank you. Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, my Lanta. Someone's definitely with someone else, guys. Someone's, I think someone's definitely spying. Someone's definitely pissed off. Somebody's jealous. Somebody is angry about someone else. Could be with a mother figure. Could be about this other woman. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to listen to their intuition. Or somebody is listening to their intuition and it's it's messing them all up here. It's like somebody wants... I feel like someone... I don't know why I want to say this. This is not going to resonate with everyone. But it's almost like somebody wants revenge. Let's see. Why is the Six of Athames crossing... Gemini's from now until August 2nd. Why is the six of... Yeah, there's conflict here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so somebody wants to... You guys are either trying to move on or you need to move on. Or somebody else needs to do this mentally. But... Someone's definitely keeping secrets that could really hurt someone like intentionally hurt someone somebody's keeping that to themselves and possibly just moving on and not saying anything so there's a co confliction here it's like do i say something and hurt this person maybe a third party and let the sh the tower come out here or do i keep my mouth shut yeah a new beginning is crossing you as well there definitely may be new love or a new risk you want to take in love. Or somebody wants to take a risk with you. Yeah, someone's unable to emotionally walk away from someone. Could be Aries, Taurus, somebody they were married to or in a relationship with. If this is not third parties and this is just reuniting, yeah, we just had this fly out, okay? Someone doesn't want to commit here. This is a message for someone. Someone may want to return to you, Gemini, or you want to return to them, but it may just be because of money. Or somebody's trying to figure out ways to get money outside the box here. 
Somebody's definitely losing hope and faith. Waiting on you, Gemini, or you're waiting on someone else. Wow, that was a message for someone. Back to the story. Alright, so let's see. Why is the King of Wands reversed in Gemini's thoughts and concerns? Spirit, from now until August 2nd in love. Why is the King of Wands? Thank you. Yeah, healing is on your mind. There's something you just don't want anymore, Gemini, or you're concerned about. Somebody doesn't want this, like... Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and healing. Someone's definitely very controlling, wants things done their way. There could be gossip here too, but I'm seeing like turndowns of love here. Because you guys don't want to commit or somebody else doesn't want to commit. Bad news, gossip, or just the spark dying out in a relationship. You guys are you guys are healing. Or someone else's. Wow, Knight of Wands. So there definitely could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming in for some of you. Oh yeah. Or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody wants to offer love here to you or you to them. Definitely could be someone from the past that's coming back. You may be in and out of their life or they're in and out of your life. Not an equal give and take situation. I'm seeing that here. Wow. Okay. So, Nine of Wands... And whoever just com commented on one of the videos, I think it was fire sign reading. Wow, wow, wow. Why do you always say wow? Why do you say holy, holy crap? Because I can feel the energy, guys. Like, it's intense. Alright, why is the nine of wands reversed for Geminis from now until August 2nd in love spirit? Why is the nine of... Someone's going to be giving up here, not wanting to put the work in, but still waiting. You guys could be waiting on money, or someone will be waiting on money. Definitely stability. Stability. Stability here, family... Tell me about the High Priest Reverse. Somebody's definitely holding on to heartbreak and they want to return to you, Gemini, or you want to return to them, but somebody's may, somebody may be waiting on a divorce. Somebody's very, gonna be, or if they're, you're not already, or if they're not already, somebody's definitely gonna be holding on to heartbreak here. Yeah, there's going to be confusion, illusions, definitely this card, the Seven of Cups is all about choosing wisely, coming to reality here, choosing wisely, still feel like there's something else going on though. This could be a divorce or somebody that you know, wants to return to someone, but they're not committing. I see money and stability and family life being someone's focus. Let's see, why is the Five of Chalices external to Gemini? Be careful, guys. Somebody doesn't want to commit. Someone's going to give up. Yeah, okay. Someone's being manipulative. Okay, Aries, Gemini, 
energy here. Somebody's manipulating someone. Someone's definitely got a lot of a lot of emotional pain. They may be holding on to grief, regret, remorse. If somebody's not being manipulative, they're just not doing anything to fix the situation. Could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is not stable, okay? This person's not fighting for you. Or you're not fighting for them. Like, it's not... No emotional fulfillment here. Why is the witch reversed? I just saw a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Why is the witch reversed for Geminis? Yeah, see, somebody's going to be letting go. You may get money here for some of you with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Someone may have to let go of money. I'm definitely seeing a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Or Libra. Yeah, I'm seeing divorces for some or separations, something unjust, something unfair. Someone's just going to be letting go. Somebody's going to be holding on to this emotional pain and not doing a damn thing about it. Like, not expressing their emotions, not expressing how they feel, maybe coming off too emotionally detached. And they need to come from an emotional place, not just so snappy here. Like, if this person wants to fix the relationship, or if this is you guys' energy, if you want to fix the relationship, it has to come from a loving place. And negative memories from the past need to be released. And it sure as hell needs to be an equal give and take relationship. Wow, this energy is intense. Tell me about the Five of Wands reverse and Gemini's hopes and fears. Thank you. Yeah, you guys may have to cut someone out and you don't want to fight anymore because it's driving you crazy, it's driving you mental, it's giving you sleepless, sleepless nights, it's causing anxiety. It very well could be a ge another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or it's just somebody who's very domineering, a liar, a narcissist here. You guys may be staying silent, taking a break, reflecting. Going within to figure out what it is you want to do. How can you be stable again? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. No, You guys don't want conflict. You don't want all this staying up at night worrying about some fucking asshole. Excuse my language. There's definitely heartbreak here going into, I can't get around it, guys. Like, with the high priest reverse, like, this person doesn't want to commit. The nine of wands reverse, this person doesn't want to fight for the relationship. But someone may be waiting on a return. But it's like, no, there's still this three of swords. There's still a separation. Alright, so let's see, why is the nature card reversed? Why is the devil reversed the outcome for Geminis? Something ain't over. Someone's still going to be releasing negativity, toxic habits, a toxic relationship. It could be anything. It could be an emotionally abusive relationship, physical abuse, drug use, alcohol abuse letting go of that energy and it's still karmically not ending here for some reason there is a new beginning someone may return to you gemini or you may return to someone else someone's still holding on definitely could be someone from the past
Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. Why is the world tree reverse for Gemini's? Ace of Swords reverse, okay. Okay, so someone's either going to cut someone off too quick. And still be holding on or somebody's not going to, somebody's going to be lying. I think someone's going to get cut out. But someone has the strength and the stability to do it. Somebody's definitely holding on to their strength and their stability. There's no victory here with whoever you're waiting on or whoever's waiting on you. This person does not want to put the work in. Why is the Ace of Athames reversed for Geminis? Yeah, there's no hope and faith regarding stability. This could also be a marriage. This could be a relationship, family, money. This could be causing problems with your family, friends, kids, if you have any. Someone definitely could be married here. I can't get around it, guys. All right, let's do future predictions. Clarify this shit for you guys. All right, Gemini's in love from now until August. Second. I just saw the sun card revert. There needs to be optimism. Someone needs to come from a loving place. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That's a message for somebody. Gemini's in love from now until August 2nd, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini's? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for... There is a new beginning here. There, This is money. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Someone's not going to fight anymore. Somebody's going to be offering a new beginning here. Something of value. But I do see an ending. Someone coming to a decision to end something. After someone either sneaks away sneaks out of a situation and doesn't say a word or someone gets caught doing something they're not supposed to be doing why is the ace of athames reversed somebody's lying okay i feel like there's a third party here i feel like there's a cancer pisces scorpio involved somehow someone may be trying to get rid of a third party here that cannot emotionally walk away. Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for sure. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Okay. We had that go flying too. That, the wheel of the year reversed. It's like things aren't happening fast enough for you right now. Or someone else. Yeah, we've got this queen of wands again reversed. Somebody's very, very nasty. Somebody's jealous. Could be a Leo. Somebody's going to be giving up on love here. Could be this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Virgo. I see no second chances, though. Somebody's imbalanced. What's coming in for love for Gemini's from now until August 2nd? Wow, guys. 
the two of cups but there's a decision that somebody needs to make somebody needs to give up on somebody else and walk away from someone else wow oh. for some of you it just could be money issues here but somebody's jealous and like spying and stalking I don't like that shit All right, the wheel is going to start turning here. There's not going to be any more fights, purposely hurting someone. Somebody wants to let that energy go. And again, you have this damn... There's definitely pregnancies here for someone. Honestly, it's like someone got... Someone got revenge. So the chariot. Somebody's not going to be making a decision. Not moving forward. Tell me about the two of cups, please. For Gemini's from now until... Somebody's going to be getting over emotional pain, letting that emotional pain go. Things may be at a standstill right now. Somebody's trying to figure out if they want to fix this relationship or not. Someone could be very impatient and just have a really bad temper. Things are unstable right now because someone's not putting the work in. Sorry guys, video cut out. Cancer energy as well. I don't see anyone making a decision. Why is this two of pentacles here for Gemini's? Is this two different people? Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, someone's got a decision to make. Someone has got a decision to make about someone here. Someone's so confused and conflicted. They need to trust their intuition. They need to go within. They need to listen to their inner judgment here. And something needs to end. Scorpio, Virgo. But. Someone needs to make a decision. Somebody know, Somebody's very confused about what it is they want. Someone's not sure if they can heal the relationship and give it a second chance because they're emotionally unfulfilled. And things are unstable as well. It definitely could be a loss of money. There was an injustice here. Somehow. Someone could have stolen money as well. Wow. Is someone going to be making a decision? Page of Swords. Truthful communication, Gemini, very well could be from you. Could be from another air sign as well. It's someone that you cannot emotionally walk away from or they can't emotionally walk away from you. There's definitely going to be communication here. Yeah, I'm seeing two different people. I'm definitely seeing love here and a risk. But somebody doesn't really want to commit. There could be a pregnancy as well. Or someone could be married, guys. Can Geminis trust this? The tower again, guys. The tower is just going to keep coming in. Scorpio energy as well. Yeah, someone needs to stop waiting on someone and heal. You definitely could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in, but somebody's just not. Tell me more about the tower. Yeah, someone's not expressing their emotions here. Someone's keeping secrets. 
going to come out here. You guys may say something. Someone else may say something. Someone may turn their back and, know, and choose not to wait on someone anymore. Whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with. And someone wants to heal from this situation. You've definitely got money coming to you. Or money is owed to someone here. For sure. You got a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming in. Scorpio. There's something of value here. Let's see. Gemini in love. Tarot, sexual magic. Gemini is in love from now until August 2nd. Gemini is in love from now until August 2nd. What do Geminis need to know and love from now? Secrets are coming out, guys, with the High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, someone's not saying anything. Or someone is not trusting their intuition and listening to their intuition. Not good. Like, this is sex only. Sex only and it's driving someone mental. Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the tower, please. Someone's not willing to take a risk and be happy here. Aries, Cancer energy. Could be because there was a third party betrayal and things are not moving forward. Things are at a standstill right now. Leo, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Tell me more about... Wow, the light will be shown and there will be an ending. Could be about a Leo, Capricorn... Someone was very nasty to someone. Very hurtful and very nasty to someone here. Or they will be. And I don't see this relationship getting off the ground. Someone does not want to be hurt. Mm -mm. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the sun, please, for Geminis. Truth, truth is coming out here. Tell me about the sun for Geminis. There is somebody else. There could be children, pregnancies as well. Taurus, Aries energy. There's another person here. Yeah, there's definitely another person. Could be an Aries Leo Sag for sure. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's sex only. Someone's going to be hurt. Very, very, very hurt. Somebody's definitely got the hots for someone. But someone's playing mind games. And it's sex only. Yep, look at that. It's somebody who comes in, gets what they want, and they leave. It's causing someone to be really, really stuck in their head. Someone does not want a love offer here. Someone's definitely going to listen to their intuition, guys. Wow, we had one flip. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. On the bottom, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We also have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Give me one more for Geminis. What is the best advice for Geminis? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's definitely something coming in. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. But holy shit, is this crazy. 
We've got let your friends help you on the bottom. Ask for and accept support from others. See if we can get a sign on this romantic feelings. What sign is this for Gemini? Yeah, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo. But I see betrayal with this person, guys. Someone's definitely got their guard up. They don't want to be betrayed. That's what I think it is. Who is this person coming in for Gemini? Yeah, it's unfair. It's unjust. There's no commitment here. Definitely could be with someone who is married. That someone has romantic feelings for. Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. Someone, it's like someone's waiting on a divorce. Someone makes promises. They don't keep them. One night stand type energy. Oh, guys. Alright. Questions Geminis may be asking that are drawn to this video spirit. What do they need to know? Remain positive. On the bottom, we have not the right time. Underneath that, we have forgiveness. Okay. That's what I've got for you guys. That was definitely intense. Um, definitely like, share, subscribe. Feel free to come back and watch it throughout the month. And I will see you guys in August. Take care, Gemini. Much love.